are you a believer that you can win the flag outside the top four even if history says you can't? Oh, look, we, we'll back ourselves in to, to be able to win games of footy, whether it be minor round or finals footy, if, uh, you know, if we're playing. And we certainly know that our best will be good enough. So uh, we just need to put ourselves in winning positions and make sure that we make the most of it. Your celebrations after the game last night to me seemed really muted. Is that true? And like, is that maybe a, a reflection of just it's one small step in where we have to go? It's not, you know. Yeah, it, it could be a bit of that. Um, I got asked the same question on radio last night, and I think the boys were actually pretty tired after the game as well. And it, um, you could see in the last quarter that it was a pretty uh, free-flowing game for most of the game, and the, the stats will tell you that too. So um, the guys were, were out in their legs, and um, you know, no doubt we we're really pleased with the result that we got yesterday. But um, in saying that too, we certainly know we've got a long way to go um, from here on in. So it was uh, it was good to, to get the win, and we've now got to, you know a few, few tough games coming up. Nathan, do you have a look at the fixture and say, how do the AFL come up with that? Where This is now your fourth consecutive game against North at Etihad. Uh, not exactly. No, I mean, I have a, a brief look at it at the start of the year. Obviously, you keep track of where you're at now. Like, I could tell you what our next three, four games are, but don't look too much further ahead than that. And there's no point in complaining what draw you get because you, you can't change it. And um, as I said earlier, we'll back ourselves in to, to play against the best sides away from home, at home. And uh, North Melbourne at the moment are playing some, some really good footy. Uh, they've been really unlucky with uh, a couple of close losses. Um, so that, to me, says that they're certainly around the mark. We'll have to be uh, at our best this weekend to, to beat them. Is speed an issue there for you? For yeah, us yeah. against them? Yeah. I, I don't think it's an issue at all. No, I think we, uh, you know, we've played really well there in the past. Um, and uh, certainly the way that uh, North Melbourne like to play at, the, at Etihad Stadium is with, with speed and with their outside runners. So. Uh, we'll certainly look to try and nullify that and um, you know, expose them uh, with our speed the other way. How close are you to, to playing the sort of footy that you, you ultimately want to play? Yeah, I think we're not, we're not far off it at the moment. I think our you know, defensively has been a big improvement over the last few weeks, um, which is something we've been really working at. And um, I think our offence, we know that if we, we've played really well defensively, our offence just stems from there. So that's been really pleasing. Um, you know, we uh, had to be really patient last night in the first half. Felt like we we had some, or we had we were in control of the game. Um, just a matter of um, trying to break it open when we did take our, when we had our chances, and it felt like we did do that for the last half of the third quarter. And um, you know, the boys managed to, to run the game out really well too, and, and come away with a, with a strong win, which was what we needed. How close North is at the moment as well? Does it have a bit of a feel of mini final about it this week? Oh no! Look, it's a it's a game that's really important to, to us, and I dare say to them as well. So, um, for us, it's about going away and executing our game plan. As I said, trying to nullify you know their strengths and um, trying to expose them with some of ours as well. So, it'll be no different for the next few weeks coming up. They're all going to be big games for us, and it starts this week. So we we can't afford to look too much further ahead than this week. The world seemed like as if it was all caved in when Taylor Walker went down, but that attack's got. All sorts of new dimensions to it. Mm. How does it feel pushing the ball towards them? Yeah, look, there's so many multiple options there. Yeah, and that's that's what we've really tried to to work out. I mean, not uh, just since Taylor's uh, gone down for us, but um, over the pre-season we've had multiple options that we can roll through up there, and we've spoken about it a lot. Um, obviously, uh, Tom and Josh are our key forwards at the moment with Sean McKernan, and they've been. You know, playing their role really well for us, it feels like at the moment. And yesterday it helps that we've had some goals from midfielders. Even Daniel Talia runs down and kicks a goal, which he's uh, in, been enjoying telling the boys about. But um, I think that uh, you know, the chemistry between Tom and Josh and Sean's only going to get better as they as they play together more. And you know, Josh has had a number of scoring shots for, for the last three weeks. He's certainly um, put himself in in good positions in winning his own footy, which is what we ask of our key forwards. So. Um, I think we're only going to keep improving from there. Anyone giving him advice on the yips? No, no, no he's, he's, he's fine. He's a beautiful kick, Josh. Is it, two, yeah. two fours are not quite... He's getting his hands in the footy. He's had six shots at goal in, uh, in, the, in both those games and kicked fours at last week, so uh, we'll keep taking that from our key fours, that's Is for sure. more about the position he's getting the shots at goal rather than his accuracy to... Yeah, he's, I mean, there's been some tough shots for our forwards from from out wide in particular, um, probably earlier in the games, which um, I remember against Hawthorne in the first quarter, that was probably what cost us early on, was just um, entering the uh, giving the forwards options wide. So we try and obviously get the ball in the corridor as, as close to goal as we can for them so that um, 
uh, they can get their best shot at, at scoring a, a scoring a goal. So we just need to you know help them out in that regard too. But um, look, our forwards are all beautiful kicks at goal. So um, you know we'll uh, keep working to get it in their hands and they can finish it off for us. Just um, Josh's knee. I mean, when I first saw, I thought he may have the worst, but mm. he played on. Is it okay this morning? Yeah, he's um, he's pretty confident. He's fine this morning. He um, iced it last night, and um, even to get through the game, he said it, it it felt fine for him. So I guess he'll he'll uh, speak to the doctors if there's any um, you know, further examination they need to do. They'll do it. But um, so far, he uh, he seems fine, which is good news for us. Do you feel like you're not quite locking the ball into the forward line as well as you did say last year? Uh, look, we we certainly try and um, you know f get some pressure and uh, tackles inside our forward fifty and. You know, last last night it felt like we couldn't lock it in there as best we can, and I think that spoke for the the whole game, to be honest, and not just through the forward line. But there was a low number of stoppages and, and stop plays. So, um, look, if we can really try and make every game into a contest, that's what we want. So, uh, the emphasis this week will be uh, again in the forward line to chase and pressure and tackle and try and lock it in our forward half. And I reckon every team in the comps trying to do that at the moment too. So it'll be. A, a good challenge for us and that's always going to be a priority as a forward line group and, uh, and midfielders to press in as well behind them to try and make sure that we, we play the game in our half. Nathan, it's a, a nice gesture, the, the jumper. But what's to say the program that you might not have an Indigenous player on the field this week? Well, I think uh, you know, it's a terrific initiative from the footy club to, to um, you know, introduce a, a heritage, oh, it's not a heritage, an Indigenous round Guernsey for our indigenous players and recognising the the input and the value that they are to our football club. Um, you know that we've got four indigenous players here at the football club at the moment who are really valued by the playing group for their performances, for their contribution to the club itself, and to the spark they bring around the club, Curly. And uh, it's um, it's great that we have a round where we can celebrate um, what they bring to the game as well as uh, all indigenous players throughout the competition over over the years that. Um, we can now uh, sort of celebrate what they've brought to the, the game. Is, what's the saying of the program if you might not have mind playing on the, on the game? That doesn't change the way that we deal with the round or the value that um, our Indigenous players in our list have um, in our eyes. Um, they're still, you know, regardless of whether they're playing or not, there's you know, a few of them on the weekend played some great games. So they'll certainly be in the mix for the senior side this weekend. But as I said, it's not going to have any... Uh, you know, um, they're not any less valuable to us if they're not playing in the side as uh, as if they are. Just with that, does it come into thinking at selection at all, given there is a couple of guys particularly in the mix for this week, uh, that it's Indigenous round, you know, it'd be nice to... Yeah, look, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure where that sits with um, the match committee, so we'll have to wait and see what, what they come up with. But uh, as I said, I know the, the boys would be... Uh, Proud of the group for for wearing a, an Indigenous round Guernsey. Keely, you're pretty happy with the. Yeah, no, I think it's awesome. <laughs> what does it mean to you guys to have this kind of gesture? Yes. I mean, yes, yeah, it's, it's a great, um, just the great way they um, the Adelaide Crows have um, like, kind of I don't know, show, showed their appreciation with the Indigenous round and just yeah, it's really good the, the way they um, like, I don't know how to put it, but. Yeah, they um, yeah, I just feel they're yeah, pretty honoured, and to, like to be with this footy club and how they're showing it with the Guernsey and stuff. So, what's, what's in the campaign? How with the Nicky Wimmer? Uh, how, how moving is that campaign? Watching that on television? Yeah, I reckon. Oh, it really means a lot. Like um, the way he stood up and was r courageous when he did that act, and um, yeah, I reckon it paved the way for to get rid of racism and discrimination out of the AFL. Yeah. And, yeah. Is it going to be an important week for you, regardless of whether you're playing on the weekend? Yeah, Christ? yeah, no, it's really, really important. It's a good round. Um, it's really, um, like, yeah, it means a lot. And it doesn't matter if I'm playing or if any other Indigenous players are playing in the in the Crows. Yeah, it's just really good, and we'll get around the boys. And we'll, if they get a win, yeah, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be right there next to them. So, how close do you feel to getting that first game? Um, oh, I'm not sure. Like just playing my best, um, putting my name up, and yeah, if I if I get in, then it'd be awesome to play a debut in the um, Indigenous, Indigenous round. But yeah, just got to keep putting my name up and see how it goes. Speaking of that, Nathan, where's how's Brian John dealing with not being in the side on a regular basis? Yeah, look, he's um, he's 
been getting probably some, some good feedback from the, the coaches as well as um, you know, some players around the group that, um, that we need him, um, that uh, he's certainly an important player to the, to the playing group and we know that, the club knows that, all the supporters know how important Graham is to us and um, you know, we're just looking for him to put forward con consistent performances um, in the SNFL and um, if the match committee see what they've been asking of him then um, they'll certainly put his name up and hopefully get him back sooner than later. Is it becoming a difficult one to manage because of his status? Oh, not necessarily. No, like we've internally, it's it's the same messages that the Graham's receiving from the coaches, and that I believe. Um, so it's a matter of um, you know him working with the match committee and the coaches to to um, show him that he's he's ready to come back and, and play the role that they need of him.